All right, here up at No Reserve, we have our incredible 41,000 mile, all original, just almost mint condition time capsule, 1987 Econoline. It's a uh, it's 250, so it's a three quarter ton. Um, all original paint, just unbelievable condition. It's a the short. It's just a standard van. It's not a, the extended van, but it's a 12 passenger. It's got the two captains up front and then three rows of bench seats, two seat three, and then the last one seats four. But this thing is always, it's been purchased brand new in Seattle at Pierre Ford, and it was always maintained. Um, it has good Carfax history. It's still in its original 1987 title, which is unbelievable. Um, but you'll see like the wipers, um, say Motorcraft on them. It's always had Motorcraft parts. The Carfax shows that this van would come in a couple times a year to uh, Pierre Ford with sometimes with only a hundred more miles on it, less than that sometimes throughout the year. Um, but the underside of this thing, I mean, there's, it's a five digit odometer, but there's no doubt when you look at this thing, this thing's got 41,000 miles and it tracks nicely through the Pierre uh, history check. But you look at this thing, it's just unbelievable. You got your dealer markings on the radius, dealer markings there. Um, I believe these are the original tires but uh, I took off the, the caps and you can see how clean the wheels are underneath. They still have the dealer, the uh, manufacturer assembly markings. But you go underneath here, it's just unbelievable. You got the original assembly markings on the leaf springs underneath the shroud that goes around the fuel filter. Still has an anodized look. The drive line still has the, manu the uh, assembly line markings. You look behind the license plate, all the lenses are just unbelievable. The hinges. Um, there's tons and tons of pictures. It's all original glass, but you look at all these, you know, the aluminum and the, uh, all these parts are just usually filthy, are just unbelievable in this drug. I mean, it's still all nice and shiny. Got all the tags. I mean, throughout the door jumps everywhere, it's just nice, shiny white paint. Just completely just beautiful. The inside is absolutely mint, with just two minor imperfections I'll show you thing runs like a top I mean there is no leaks everything works and there is this has got to be the nicest uh, square body econoline on out there in the lowest miles um, to still be in its original 87 title uh, I could go around this thing for days and show you all the stuff that you know the, the markings on the frame how clean underneath it is under the hood I mean look at this I mean you can just touch it it's just there's no dirt you can, I mean when was the last time you saw an old econoline where you could read the wheelbase on the inner fender. You can read the part number and stuff on the wheels. I mean, the, the center caps are still nice and shiny and the black coves are still nice and painted. You know, always got its oil changes a couple times a year, even though it didn't need it. You know, Motorcraft filters, Motorcraft oil changes. You can see on both coil springs, the paint markings, you know how clean it is behind that bumper. Just unbelievable condition. You know, there's a couple areas where you could see, you know, it had a number two on it at one point, but throughout the years with some waxing. Um, but you look at the grill, you look along here, just beautiful paint. I mean, usually this is all stone chipped up. I mean, you look at these clean lights here, just a couple of stone chips on the hood. I mean, really just all original glass. It's got a little fogging on the side, which is, to me, is just awesome. It's got, still got the car light logo in the middle couple little stone chips but I love seeing that stuff because it's just the originality just there's about 200 pictures of this thing because the underside is just unbelievable but I'll get up I'll do it the outside go around and then go ahead and go on the inside because this thing is a uh, is I know it's just a club wagon uh, three-quarter ton Econoline van but you know with the 300 inline six cylinders the one owner with the 87 title still um, all the books, brochures, um, still got the little tags, instruction, one that hangs over the shifter. Um, that'll also be in the pictures, but it's just unbelievable. But, uh, you know, that being said, it's still, uh, you know, 32 years old, so you will have some stone chips. And this thing was always stored inside. This did not get stored out in the weather. Just beautiful condition. I mean, here, you, you look in between the grill, hopefully you can see in there, it's just crisp, clean paint. The, the lights are beautiful. You know, there's a little wear in the paint there but hopefully this white is a little bit hard to do in the picture but hopefully you can see how shiny this is along the sides and the top I mean it's just beautiful you know you're gonna get a couple little stone chips along the bottom it's kind of typical 
Um, this is pretty much the worst of it on the driver's side. It's got a little chip here and a very slight ding. You know, a little bit of door edge wear, but I mean, super minor. Sweeps look really nice with just a few minor cracks. But you look at the the screws on these. It's just beautiful. You know, a couple little scuffs on the backside of both mirrors. But you look, the rubbers are on the side windows. All the locks, all the stainless is just beautiful. And you got this. I mean, this you just you know underneath the rain gutters, you just don't see stuff like this on these vans. These vans weren't uh, meant to be tucked away. They weren't bought. Uh, people didn't use their hard-earned money to tuck them away inside and have them be mint 30 plus years later. They uh, they used and abused these things inside the gas door. I mean, it's just unbelievable. I mean, it looks like maybe they got on a little bit of road tar there, but that stuff does come off. I mean, just un unreal van. I mean, all along, hopefully you can see it's just the, how clean and tidy this thing is and original. Is you just don't see these things, man. I got the original there, the hinges. I mean, no, no real paint worn out, just a little bit. Usually these are all chipped up and banged up. Nice shine, still still smooth feel. The light lenses, they're not all dry feeling. But you look in between where the slider door goes, how clean that is. Hopefully the camera will show it. There's a little bit of paint missing. Guess it looks like it's scraped up against something, chipped this up a little bit. Um, that and uh, this little spot on the passenger side is pretty much the worst of it. There's one little spot on the back, but this thing rides extremely smooth. That's the other spot. Um, but I believe these really are the original tires. Um, 41,000 miles. Um, they got a ton of tread. They ride smooth, but it's just cool to keep those things on there. Those are the original Michelin XCL T4s. Um, but you might want to play some if you're going to be, you know, doing stuff like that. But it's just cool to have that stuff. Um, you know, you'll see regular maintenance underneath with belts um, through the Carfax history report. You'll see that stuff and oil changes and hoses, of course, batteries. But other than that, this thing is just mint. So real easy to do the interior on the driver's side since it obviously is a van, doesn't have a door. But uh, you look at that pad, it's just super clean, nice rubber mat. Seat is just mint. It's just got a little bit of material, no holes or nothing, but just a little loose here. I'll go ahead and sniff that so you won't have to look at that. The steering wheels is perfect. All this wood trim is gorgeous. And look how clear those gauges are. Um, the last uh, maintenance was done and um, it was in in tw late 2017. And I believe it had 41,100 some miles. Um, and that's when the oil changes on. It's really crazy. But you can see it's never been smoked in. Hopefully they can, there you go, never been used. I mean, it smells like a new van in here. I mean, it really does, it's just unbelievable. You know, the seatbelt plastic's got a little bit of wear on them because they just kind of stick out like this. So people are gonna pass inside and out. But this kind of cardboard smooth material usually just, man, it did not age well. So a lot of times they'll have them hanging, missing down, but you'll see there's not one droopy area. You know, the visors still have little plastic guys that go in there, that go around them. You know, a little area for your registration. Um, that's where the original owner's uh, books were, manuals were. You look at the armrest. You look at this, like little things like this. You look at the, the knob on here. I mean, look how crisp and clear that is. Little rivet, how shiny that is. How shiny it is here. Got your VIN decal. I mean, it's just beautiful. I'll go ahead and pop the hood while we're going around. I already kind of went through the back area. Um, so we're going to go ahead and climb in uh, through the rear here in a minute. Show you the passenger side, the front area. But again, you look at these mirrors. I mean, they're just, it's just nuts. Again, same kind of stuff. Shiny hinges. Look at the screws. I mean, there's just no dirt in there. Nothing. Seats is perfect condition. Dash is beautiful. Doghouse is in nice shape. Locks are nice and tight. Door opens and closes nice and smooth, but you see that pad on both sides where it says Ford. I mean, look how crisp that is. I mean, it's going to, I don't know if I'll ever come across one of these again, but the only areas of wear I was talking about is, it uh, looks like they did pull this seat out, um, replace the receiver for some reason, but it looks like the armrest did get busted off. Um, I looked all over in this thing and did not see it. And it looks like they caught a little bit of the vinyl here, um, again. But 
not really too big of a deal because it's, it's all in sections so you really could just replace this section if you were crazy but uh, I mean it's beautiful otherwise take you back here but you look at all this shiny paint really nice throughout I mean, you look over here you can just kind of see the shine it has you know I'm a uh, I'm a, I'm a survivor guy and I love the vans and wagons, so this uh, was just killer to see. But uh, hopefully I didn't, I'm not sure if I showed you guys all in here how clean that is. It might be a little difficult to do. So I'll set you guys down here for one quick moment. And then we go to the GoPro for driving. But you look in here and you see this washer bottle and you look at how clean this thing is. I mean, you can see the original tags on the power steering hoses, power steering pump, and the line there. You know how clean this is down there. Let's see if I can get, get the camera to focus in. Look at the brakes. Look how clean this is. I mean, the bolts, I mean, it's still got that shine to the bolts. You know, no accidents. Even this little plastic guy is nice and tight. But look at these bolts, is what I was talking about, how clean that is. You look at the hinge area, it's nice and clean. But it's just an unbelievable. You look at the little spring here, you know, that nice silver color it still is, and the clean little bracket, and the original decal. I mean, it's just. Just absolutely crazy. So this is gonna be going at no reserve. There's an absolute ton of pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and get it warmed up and fire up the GoPro and we're gonna do drive. All right, here we are for a run and driving video of our uh, just mint condition 87 Econoline line van. Uh, three quarter ton with the inline six cylinder. Just 41,000 original miles. One owner, you can see this thing just, just whistles. I mean, it runs super, super smooth. Got all the lights. You can see how how crystal clear these these turn lights are. We got the corner light running. I mean, look at how beautiful these things are. I mean, some people think I'm crazy because they're like, "Oh man, it's just an '87 Econoline," line," but they really don't get how how crazy it is to find one of these things in this condition. So, you can see it's running nice and smooth, no smoking, just no mechanical issues at all. This thing is ready to hit the road. See, it's still got its original cardboard. It's got uh, Firestone tires. Got 87 Econoline manual here. All your limited warranty pack of stuff, so it's nice and tight in there. Operating guide, an extra owner's man, owner's guide itself. This is uh, this is the, uh, the EFI deal that went around the, the right on the key. So it's just really cool. The original brochures are in with the original title. Um, there will be a picture of those. All right. So we'll go ahead and turn off those four ways. Really just quiet and smooth running van. This does work if you want to charge up your cell phone. Situations, politicians. Basic stereo. Heater works great. Blows at all different speeds. But works really nice and quiet. Headlights, obviously your wipers, you know, you got it's a little dry out, so I don't want to go too long because they're brand new. Okay, so e-brake works good. I'm off the get off the uh, gas pedal. Give it some gas. It doesn't want to move. So e-brake off, and there we're rolling. All right, so it's kind of typical. Like even though it's only got 41,000 miles, a lot of older vehicles, you, the seatbelt does get a little bit. Uh, so I had an intermediate there a little bit. Um, sometimes you got when you pull in, it doesn't go super tight. So you guys got to pull it real quick, kind of like normal, and it cinches up. Um, but you can probably just pull off the lower cover shoot it with a little bit of freeze off or um, like WD-40 all kinds of different free all, all different types of stuff just the gears are probably just you know haven't been used a lot I mean you know 32 years old and got 41,000 miles it's just unbelievable 
But this thing is the most, you know, unbelievable. I believe it's the original tires because a lot of these came with Michelin's. You know, it does have a Firestone brochure in there. But uh, these look like the original deal that I've seen on uh, a lot of original low mile trucks. Um, but you can see this thing just whistles along. I mean, it's as smooth as glass. Gonna get you out on the highway and uh, then I'll do some back roads. You know, it's a little echo in here. It is a van, but it does have the seats to kind of soak it up. Give it some gas. I mean, that inline six cylinder, it, this, this is a van with this C6 transmission that could go absolutely forever. I mean, this thing is just bulletproof. Um, if you're looking for a cheap to maintain, low maintenance, um, reliable, and just dead on a solid combo, that's this one. I hope you guys can see the speedometer. I mean, this thing just, I mean, it's got the aerodynamics of a brick, so you're gonna get a little bit of wind noise. Um, they had wind noise brand new. It's just, uh, you can't, you can't combat, uh, aerodynamics, but you're not going to get any additional wind noise. All the rubber seals are in good condition. Um, and again, you know, being, a, uh, just, I love original survivor stuff, especially low mile, low ownership stuff. It's just, it's incredible to find a workhorse like this that was usually just bought to be you know, driven people around or used for work or whatever and see it have all the original paperwork and documentation being the original 1987 title that's never been lost. Um, one owner in just incredible maintenance always stored inside, always taken to the Ford dealership. I mean, your Carfax, obviously this was before the internet days, you know, but you have the original 87 title that proves the original owner um, and then uh, it picks up, uh, you know, when the internet kicks around in the 90s, but uh, it's really great to see that they always took it to the Ford dealer. Uh, it's always been a Northwest Seattle truck, so there's no rust, nice shiny paint. I mean, the top's in phenomenal condition for top of a van. Nobody usually gets up there and cleans that stuff, but um, so we're gonna go ahead and turn right right here. So really tight steering. I mean, this thing has absolutely no needs. I mean, fresh oil change, green coolant, good battery, uh, half a tank of fuel that's ready to just hit the road. Now, this is a horrible road is why I take it down here. There's bad patches, potholes, and you can just hear there's no door panel rattle, there's no dash rattle, there's no door rattle, there's just absolutely nothing. No panel is loose, no side panel's been off. It's just killer. But I mean, you can see I'm just driving with one hand. You know, the blinkers work great. I mean, it's just, just killer. So I'm gonna take you to some tight 90s up here. We'll go left and right a couple of times. So you can see how this big boy handles. Um, but uh, you know, there's not really that many of these vans around period anymore because cash for the conquerors days that came around with the bad economy and people you know trade in beavers and get 4500 bucks uh, but then with after that the expensive recycle days any non-runners around will get hauled in for 500 bucks so he's just nice and tight wants to rebound good um, but to find a clean one whether it be a clubman an extended or shorty or a camper is very difficult but to find this kind of originality and low miles is uh, with the 306 cylinder I I doubt I'll ever see one again this clean I mean they're just unreal people just don't take the time to take the care of these kinds of vans and to see uh, ownership we're still just up till 2017 they're still taking the care and love to take this thing to the dealership it's unreal but uh, it is going at no reserve so this one can be yours and the highest bid is going to take it so good luck